Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors. Today we're out at our local airfield and uh, there's no one here as usual. And we are going to do our best to do an on-field kind of review, impressions of the new Quantum Cyclops goggles. Oh, yeah. uh, this is just going to be like a quick field test to get our first impressions. Really it's a super cheap alternative to Fat Shark goggles and they'll fit over your glasses. And so, plug and play, which right. we like. <laughs> it's super awesome. We're going to take it out of the box, show you guys everything that comes in the box, and really just get it out real fast and uh, put it to some quick use. So let's get right to it. I love the box. Uh, I'm a sucker for nice boxes. And just so you know, I threw some things in here that do not belong. Don't belong. Uh, let me show them, though, because I think they'll need them. Of course, you'll need a battery of some kind. This is what I'll be using on it today. And uh, it does come with a couple wires for uh, the, the goggles themselves. It comes with this little wire for power, not with the yellow, just the black. That plugs into the goggles, and then this is for your power source. It's an XT connector. I believe that's XT60. Yeah, it is. And uh, uh, so I made a converter because I don't have my batteries are all Dean's or Star Plug. So I had to convert from XT60 to Dean's, which is what I'll be using. But it does also come with a power source here. And then oddly enough, no clue why, they made it so that you can use a 9 volt battery. Now I think they did that because these are for newbies. You know, this is really designed to be someone's first pair of goggles that knows absolutely nothing about FPV. And if you know nothing about FPV, you probably don't know much about batteries for the hobby. So they give you this little nine volt power connector. So nine volt batteries that you can buy at your dollar store. You won't get a lot of flights out of them, but it will get you flying FPV. So those are the two connectors you get. I want to unbox. <laughs> yeah. Instructions. Yeah, they're bubble. actually really nice instructions. Bubble wrap. Uh huh. Goggles. Nice, and I don't believe there's and anything else goggles. in there. Let me just look really fast here. There is, uh, what is that? There's your lenses. Oh, nice. It, it's, are you sure? I believe so. I believe that's different lens. And then nothing underneath. Okay, well, let's not lose our crash. Let's shut that back in real fast. And uh, the goggles themselves, they look uh, pretty nice, really. It's like a, an all-in-one plastic unit here. Um, it comes with a standard antenna. Let's go out in the sun so they can see us a little better. So it comes with a standard antenna that I would recommend you do upgrade uh, to like a, a clover antenna or something. Um, but yeah, you've got your, this is to slide the lens. Good job modeling, Abby. And the other side has a few buttons. This is another slide the lens. This is where you plug your antenna in. And then you have menu, and this is your auto scan. So when, you're, when you've got a transmitter, video transmitter plugged in, stop, you're being goofy. <laughs> when you've got a video transmitter plugged in, you just press the auto scan, and it'll find the strongest signal in the area and connect right to it. So it's really, really simple. Actually, we're gonna probably have Abby see if she can connect these to her quad. Um, nice. <laughs> Uh, without me really telling her what to do. So oh, let's see boy. if she can do it. So you plugged in your power cord. Yep. That's good. Now what? I don't know. <laughs> Battery? That's right. <laughs> can do I plug it in? Yeah. It's fine. And now that, see if it fits. I'm worried that it may not fit in that back pouch. Yes, it does. Nice. Very nice. So you've got static in there, which means... Uh, we're good. No signal. We just need to pair it up to a quad now. That was right? it? That's it. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So there's a big button here in front of your antenna. I want you to hit that button. Do these adjust? Yes. Okay. What am I doing? Hit the big white button in, in front. Uh, yeah, right there. Nice. So that's it. You're ready. Okay. That's easy, isn't it? Yes. Just so you guys know, she pushed one button after they were plugged in and she's ready to go. That's how easy it is. No tricks or anything. She's ready to fly. So uh, we've got the basic antenna that comes on it. Uh, she's going to fly it and see if she has good range and everything. If it's crap, then we'll put the different antenna on. So you take off whenever you're ready.
Okay, you. you're upside down. <laughs> Okay, maybe I fly. All right, let's do this. I got some dandelions right Go here. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stay in the air. I went through the hoop. <laughs> right? You went through it, yeah. Okay. Now we're actually going to test it. <laughs> okay, this is the stock antenna flying on the rise. I'm already getting a little bit of interference, but uh, everything works. I've got a nice live feed. See, you are doing like a big figure. Well, yeah, pretty much. So when I'm flying really close range like this, uh, these goggles are working out really, really well. I can see everything, I'm flying. He's like 20 feet in front of us, and then probably over there about 50 feet on each side. There and there's the action cam. Nice. <laughs> how far away I am. Oh, I have no lift. I have like none. <laughs> so I'm pushing out pretty far, even you with are, this stock antenna. Far. This is pretty awesome. I mean, that's at least 100 feet or so. That's amazing. Oh, he's back in front of us. Jet, can you tell right when you're back in front oh, of us with man. the signal? I have no lift. <laughs> but yeah, the, the signal actually was pretty good way out there. Oh, that's um, good. I, I have no complaints on this signal at all. This is a really awesome flying experience. Uh, just no lift. We need to that's replace your props. Nothing to do with the goggles. Right, 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 right. <laughs> How do the goggles feel on your face? They're very comfortable. They're very lightweight. Like I'm not turning my head or anything. I'm flying way out here. And I still have signal. I start to lose it about here. That's pretty far. I'm at the edge of the field now. That's like way in the corner. Yeah. Where the grass starts. Oh, oh lift up, baby. <laughs> it's back in front of us. I'd be flying faster, but I don't have any lift. I'm pretty much full throttle. So, so. is it cutting now at all? No. Or are you just, <clears> just a, like little a little bit of static. Yeah. Well, that's good. Nope, missed the gate. She's just flying a little funny. I'll go all the way out to the edge of the field, test it out here. Getting close to a big metal building and I start getting some interference, <clears throat> but it's but not a blue like screen. But you're so far away. I'm really far. I've never flown FPV this far, so that's really impressive. And we're still using this little stock antenna. I don't, I don't see any negatives to these goggles, like, at all. And that's the antenna that comes with it? Yeah. So what if you were to put... How's the timer on the transmitter? One of those AM waves on it, 25 seconds. Okay. If you put one of the AM waves, probably even better. Yeah. It's circularized. Oh, come on, quad. Oh. You're upside down. Well, the props are kind of broken on the quad, but as far as these goggles go, the foam around them is ridiculously comfortable. They're really lightweight on my head. Uh, it, as she found the channel. With the press of one button, it auto scanned because it's an auto scan receiver built into this. The video picture quality is great and I can see everything that I need to see while I'm flying. It felt really good. I think I really, really like these Cyclops goggles. I, I got nothing negative to say. I wish it came with more battery connector types, but I mean, then the price goes up a little bit, I suppose. I think this is a great option if you're new, you're wanting to get into FPV, but you're not wanting to spend a fortune. Yeah. I think this is the way to go, especially if you're new and it, especially because if you're new, you want something that's easy and this was easy. Easy. And Plug cheap. and play. 
cheap easy. and easy. This is designed to be a plug and play, ready to fly, person that wears glasses, person that doesn't wear glasses, mm -hmm. uh, FPV goggles, and they hit a home run. My range was amazing. I was really impressed. Even by how with far the you were going. stinking stock antenna. With crazy stock good. antenna, yeah. Crazy good. I can't believe it. Um, that's awesome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. They are uh, home run. If you're new into FPV or you want a friend to experience FPV or you just want to have a backup pair of goggles uh, so in case yours ever go down or something, mm -hmm. buy these. The link is in the description box. We don't make a penny on the link at all. Just uh, ease of use for you guys. So be sure to check them out. Linked below. Buy these for yourself. You'll do yourself a massively huge favor. I love these things. I'm going to try them on my Isheen racer next. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe so we can see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.